Welcome back to the channel at Javon Salam Products LLC. Hope all is well wherever you at. Before we continue, I want you to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and hit the share button. Excuse me, hit the share button. Right? So, today, the topic is, all you got to do is ask. All you have to do is ask. That's the topic today. Shout out to my coffee drinkers. I told y'all the coffee coming soon on the website. Right? Now, let's get into it. All you got to do is ask, right? Now, I know some people might be wondering, well, what is he talking about? Why, why, why that's the topic, right? And I'm explaining to y'all, right? Now, this has a lot to do with communication, right? And I realized something, right? All you got to do is ask. A lot of time, people don't ask, so they don't get. I'm not talking about begging. Not begging. It's a difference. When you beg, you at the mercy of somebody else. When you ask, depending on how you ask, it shows how confident you are. It's a difference, right? And I'm gonna explain that to y'all. Now, I give y'all a quick example, right? I like to give examples and stories because it seems to penetrate the minds of the people better, right? Now, there've been times, right? Where I've been at the bank and I would see how a customer in front of me would talk to one of the bankers and they won't get far, right? Let's say, for example, you know, uh, the man or the lady, you know, they ask the banker a question. They started raising their voice. Ah, yo, this, uh, uh. you know, we have to remember something. It's not how you ask or what you say, but how you say it, right? Now, and if I'm next in line, right, I go up to the banker and then I get what I want, right? I get what I want. Because I know how to adjust, I know how to ask, I know how to pivot, and that's the whole point, right? Why you think when, if for those who've been watching my channel and watching my videos, why you think with certain topics, I adjust my personality according to the topic, right? And in life, we have to adjust our personality according to the situation. This don't mean be fake. It's called being flexible, right? So let's say like for me, for example, when I'm on the phone, when I'm talking business, whether I'm on the phone with my accountant, registered agent, you know, business, you know, taking care of business, you know, I got to attend some business meetings. You know, I'm talking to professional people. You think I'm cursing and talking crazy? If y'all was to hear me talk on the phone, when I'm talking business, you got to know how to talk the language. All that rah, rah, you know, fucking all of this. and all. Nah, you, you, you can't do that when you're talking business over the phone. Now, 
This is the ability of axing. You got to know how to ax, right? You got to know how to adjust. You got to know how to talk, right? That's like I told y'all. That's why depending on the topic that I'm talking about, I adjust my personality on the topic based on the topic that I'm talking about, right? So this way it could penetrate, you know, the hearts of the people, the minds of the people better, right? Now, for example, like now with everything that's going on with COVID-19, you know, a lot of people is facing financial challenges, everybody, nobody's exempt, right? And let's say, for example, perfect example, Maybe you got some bills you got to take care of with your, you know, with your creditors. You can't call your creditors on the phone and and start demanding stuff. You got to talk their language. You got to talk sweet and nice. You got to know how to talk that flavor. You got to talk that sugar talk. You talking to... Corp, you talking? You talking to people in corporate? You can't be talking all crazy. You think you're gonna get anything from them or get what you're trying to get accomplished by displaying your anger with them over the phone? You ain't gonna get far like that. They gonna bang the phone on you. They not gonna. They not gonna listen to you talk to them over the phone like that. You think you get on the phone with a millionaire, billionaire, wealthy people and start talking crazy? They going to bang the phone on you. You got to talk their language. Now, I'm always going to be me, right? I'm from Brooklyn, right? I'm from Trini. <laughs> I'm always going to be me. My family from Trini, you know, so I'm never going to change who I am. As far as my morals and values and the things that I hold there, but I know how to adjust depending on the situation. And we have to learn that. The same thing with your bank. Maybe you got some bank fees or something. You got some bills you got to take care of. All you got to do is get on the phone and ask. Listen, man, everything going out, every, you know, things is kind of rough right now with the pandemic. You know, can you just, I was, I was wondering if it's possible, you know. You know, can you waive the fee, man? I would really appreciate that, man. You know, it will mean a lot to me. it will mean a lot to me. And you will be surprised how far you could get. You ain't gonna get nowhere with a phone by cursing out you know, bill collectors and and and, 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 and people are uh, your banker and people you're doing business with. You ain't gonna get far with them like that. You gotta talk their language. You'll be surprised. Of what you could get accomplished just by asking and talking in a nice, sweet, delicious tone, right? I remember years ago when I used to sell on the train. This was years ago, right? And I remember one day this lady, she bought some oil for me, right? We was in the Bronx. I was I was I was on the uh I was on the D train. We was in the Bronx, right? And she was just so mesmerized by my speech. She was like, Oh my god, I love the way you talk. You make me wanna buy something. I I, I you make me wanna just give you my money. I, yo, I don't even need this, but I, I love the way you talk. See what I'm saying? You got you to gotta talk that sweet talk when you're talking to a corporate America. Again, like I told y'all, this is why, depending on the topic that I talk about, I adjust my personality based on the topic. All you got to do is ask. Right? If I'm, you know, you know, you, you talking to somebody from the hood, you got to talk their language. Right? When you in corporate America, you got to talk their language. <laughs> You talking business, you gotta talk business talk. You gotta you gotta understand the, the the language, the vocabulary. This way you can adjust. 
All you got to do is act. So if you got any problems that you face right face with right now financially, all you got to do is get on the phone and ask. Be nice. Be nice. Don't curse. Talk nice to them. Make them feel like they appreciate it. And you will be surprised at what you can get accomplished. And they will ask in return something as small as, all I ask for you, just fill out the survey that we will send to your email. And you will be surprised. Thank y'all for tuning in. Jerome Sadar Products, LLC. I love y'all. Stay blessed.